see, here's the thing, you guys. What I'm feeling here is now that the reason why you're even able to perceive of your emotions or the emotional content of this situation in this way, because your emotional centers, your emotional feeling bodies are online and they're balanced, the King and the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, this may be a situation in which you are learning to place better boundaries. This has been the point, learning to hold better boundaries. Queen of Cups is holding those boundaries. The King of Cups is having the emotional maturity to recognize that this needs to continue. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your moment. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, it is a timeless reading. Yeah, we might get into some time sensitive stuff at some point, but overall, this really is just a general timeless reading. So whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. I hope you guys are doing well so far. Um, it's good to see you all. It's good to connect with you all. Um, I don't really have anything on the agenda to talk about, so we're just gonna get straight into it. The only thing that I wanna mention is that um, if you would like more morning coffee, check out the morning coffee playlist. That can be found in the link in the top right of your screen, also in the description box and the pinned comment below. Last thing. I'm wearing this shirt today, number one, because it's a dope shirt. Look, I mean, it's, I mean, it's Aliyah. It's a, it's a freaking dope shirt. But I'm also wearing it in honor of the fact that Aliyah's music is now, all of her music, not just her first album, but all three of her albums are now available on digital music sites. So like anywhere, you can stream it, you can download it. It's available, you guys. I think we should have an Aliyathon all week. I don't know. It's up to you. But if you want to come, if you want to participate, you let me know. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, that's really all I have. So let's just get into this. Ooh, let's just get into this and see what we've got for the collective today. Yeah, excellent. Here we go. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, places, relationships, and circumstances in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, you guys, let's get into this here. I'm gonna give this five shuffles, yeah? This is one. This is two. This is three. Four, the collective. This is four. Oops, four. And this is five. All right, um, so something already wanted to come out. It was the nine of wands, it's the last one. Um, and I just heard a basic, don't give up. All right, so um, colors. I've been seeing colors, um, but I like, you know, you guys know, I see colors when I connect. Um, and the colors are still this, are still similar to like what we talked about yesterday. You know, um, the yellow and the green, the, the solar plexus and the heart chakra. But today what I'm seeing is yellow, 
and it didn't feel like anything different than what I had already channeled or what I had already been saying. Like nothing new was coming through, so I didn't really speak on it until I saw this Nine of Wands that was at the bottom of the deck. And I'm seeing a bit of orange connected to this. So orange is your solar plexus. I'm sorry, yellow is your solar plexus. Orange is your sacral chakra. And with the Nine of Wands that just caught my attention, wanted to be seen and heard, um, there's a little bit of energies here of needing to just kind of like push through. Hold on a second. So either this is for us as a collective, and I kind of can feel like how that is true. Um, it's either us as a collective or it's for certain individuals within the collective. But we're needing to just keep up and persevere. This is one of the moments actually where I would recommend not paying too much attention to your emotions because what I'm feeling here right now is that any sort of emotional content that's coming up, anything that's making you feel a certain type of way, it's not necessarily about that situation that's making you feel somehow or a certain type of way. It's the emotions involved, what it is you're feeling in this, in this moment or in this energy, or for when this guidance is meant to resonate for you, is meant to reach you, emotions are coming up. There are certain emotions, certain feelings, certain, certain worries and fears that are kind of coming up that are fairly illusionary, okay? And this is why, this is one of those slightly rare moments where I would say to you, don't pay too much attention to your emotions, don't... And, and, don't take, it's not, it's not that you shouldn't pay too much attention to them. It's don't take them too seriously because I feel like any sort of fears or any sort of strong emotional upheavals or, or feelings that you have right now, it's not really based in reality. It's mainly based or rooted in fearful energies and, and I don't want anybody to, to get all worried or paranoid. You're not really slipping back. You're not falling back into old habits or anything. It's just a matter of there are some things that are coming up in your life right now that the fears surrounding them or the strong in, or intense emotions are surrounding them are not all that truthful. Obviously, uh, again, uh, what I'm hearing is it's based in fear. So that's why you don't really want to pay too much attention to them. That doesn't mean ignore them. It just means, you know, observe it, notice it, feel it, understand what it is. Once you come to the understanding or the realization that yes, it is in fact based in fear and there's actually no real basis in reality, that's at that point, that's when you can just be like, okay, I'm gonna push this off to the side now. I mean, I feel this, I'm aware of this, but I'm not going to focus on it because it's just fearful energy. This is where we start getting into that Nine of Swords realm of self-fulfilling prophecies. Like you don't wanna feed that monster, okay? You wanna starve energies like that. You wanna starve thought forms like that. You wanna starve situations of energy, so it's like it's those types of situations of energy so that they don't continue to grow and continue to build more momentum and then start to become even bigger and bigger and bigger monsters, okay? But this all came from the Nine of Wands that just showed itself. And what I'm feeling here, straight up and down, is that we just need to keep pushing through. And we're not, and, and what's, this is interesting, but what I just felt specifically about it was that um, just keep pushing through. This doesn't mean that we're trying to say that you're going to get anywhere anytime soon or that it's, that it's like right around the corner or something like that. That I felt very specifically that I needed to say, but you just, but like, like, don't worry about that aspect. It's, but it also what spirit is trying to get us to understand it. It's not like anything, any sort of change or any sort of new shift or something is necessarily right around the corner. We're just saying to you, keep pushing through these emotions, keep pushing through this situation. You will be okay. You will survive. You will come out on top. You will come out the other end of this, but don't. Allow yourself to get too caught up in the fear. I have a spider web on me. <laughs> don't allow yourself to get, yeah, look, there it is. There, don't allow yourself to get too caught up in the fear, too caught up in the circumstances, okay? Don't get, don't allow yourself to start like 
diving into the details now and all of a sudden the things, your fears, your anxiety are becoming even worse because now you're over analyzing things. Don't allow that to happen. Just if, if you honestly, in all honesty, what you really, the bare minimum or what at least what you can do is just observe it. Maybe take a big picture snapshot of it, okay? To, un to just to get like a, a final understanding of what's going on and then pull back and allow the universe to work things out and you just keep doing your part, okay? So, what's going on? What do you want to discuss with the collective right now, please? Spirit, God, source, creator. What would you like to discuss with the collective right now, God, source, creator? There's that 10 of swords again. Okay. This is a good, wow. This is excellent. This really is excellent. Okay, so what Source is saying right now is that, uh, first of all, we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? But what Source is saying here, 11-11 on the counter, is that the main focus right now is understanding what it is you've overcome. You have the Six of Wands and you have the Seven of Pentacles. Both of these came out face up. There's a bunch of other cards that have come out that have fallen face down. One of them is the Ten of Swords. I did see that as it came out. But these, but those are more hidden energies. I'm also feeling like those are a little bit of past energies for the collective here. So the main focus right now, you guys, is not necessarily where you're going, what it is you're trying to accomplish, or what it is you are, are hoping to or, in, or, or working on being in alignment with to gain moving forward, okay? That's not the point right now. In... In feeling through it collectively, it does feel like wherever it is ultimately you're trying to go, whatever it is this alignment is for you that you have, that you're working on, that you're cultivating, that you're maintaining your alignment with, of, whatever, that's a little, that's still a little bit off. It's still a little ways in the distance. Spirit doesn't want you to focus on that. I mean, obviously, Spirit wants you to make sure that you maintain your alignment, right? So there are some things or some elements that you are going to want to keep your conscious focus on, i.e. what feels good, ultimately what it is you're trying to create, not I mean not necessarily holding on to resistance of it having to look or show up or exp um, whatever manifest in any certain way, any type of way, but just keeping in focus on what it is you need to stay in alignment with for where ultimately where it is you're trying to go. Okay, but right now, at this moment for you, Whenever this focus, whenever this reading resonates for you, whenever you find this, whatever, the, the focus for the moment right now is making sure or maintaining a clear vision, making sure that you clearly understand what it is you've overcome or what it is you are overcoming. Six of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles. Because what I'm feeling here for the collective is that there are... Like what I just heard is like literally you really should be proud of yourself right now. If you really think back on over the what I'm hearing specifically over the last two years, okay. If you look back and think about over, uh, think over what has happened for you, what if, what it is you've experienced, how it is you've changed and you've grown over the last two years, you have a lot to be proud of, or at least you'll find that you have a lot to be proud of, because you have overcome a lot. What I'm getting from this Seven of Pentacles is like there have been some cycles where. You know, your higher self was, was was looking down at you, watching you go through all this. And it's just like, God, come on, when are they going to get it? When, come on, we do this lesson. We've done this lesson over and over and over again. Like, are, are there, what, I know they're going to get it. When are they going to get it? And then you got it. And now you get to revel in that victory. Okay, what I just feel like this Seven of Pentacles energy has been some pretty extreme stuff. Or at least has been a really tough lesson that you've been working on learning over and over and over, time and time again, and you've finally gotten it. Like you're really rising above this time. And what this feels like, you guys, is this, like you've been in this energy or in this certain vibration for so long, and now you're finally clawing your way out of it. This just feels like that moment where you are really shifting out, okay? So consciously, internally, the shift has happened. But now externally, we're, it's like you're going through that phase where you're moving through the, um, you're moving through the dimensions, for a lack of a better term, right? You're, the dimensions of your life. The, you had one energetic vibration that you were in here, 
that had its own circumstances, its own life lessons, its own reality, right? And you've been working and working and working and working on getting out of that. And you finally reached a level, a tipping point where now you can start to shift out of that energy and move from this energetic vibration or this reality into this one, which would be next for you, right? But you are here and you're starting to move from here to here. But you see how, like, if you, if, this is hard to explain, but if this is, if this is a spectrum, right, and you have one reality here and one reality here, or one energetic vibration here and one energetic on this side, vibration on this side, you're, you've got to move through it. And there is no hard line between the two. So it's, it's a spectrum, right? So the energies blend together. So you're moving through and you're just, and like, you're just starting to really exit this reality while just now starting to enter the energy of this reality right so you see how there's like a blur and you're just now starting to move this way I hope that's making sense but it, it's it's that period where you're not quite out of the woods yet you're still moving through the energy so you still have to maintain your vibration okay but you still should be very proud of yourself because the momentum you've got going is taking you out of this old, this lesson seven of pentacles this uh, somewhat of Einstein's definition of insanity, right? Of doing something the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. But what I'm feeling for this energy for you guys is that now that the reason why this is shifting is because you're you're doing something differently now, and that's why you're moving out of this cycle or out of this lesson, Seven of Pentacles, and moving towards the next. Okay, excellent. But you still have to give yourself that time to really make the shift, yes? To sufficiently get into this next energy and seriously rooted there before you can let your boundaries down against whatever it is you're trying to move forward from, right? Like, you can't, you can't, you can't stop the momentum. You can't stop the car until you're in the parking spot. You know what I mean? Like, Right. You can't stop the car until you're in the parking spot. So don't stop doing whatever it is. Like, I, I mean, don't stop doing whatever it is you're doing until you're sufficiently there. Until you've reached the parking spot, you got in the parking spot, the car has stopped, you put, you put it in park, you turn it off. Like, complete the cycle. Yes? Let's move forward. Let's look at all these cards that have fallen face down. Um, these are maybe some hidden, I'm hearing unknown energies. Okay, there's four of them. You have Okay. Well, well, now I feel, now I see what, I th what may be happening here. Um, I feel like there are some energies that are trying, uh, some past energies, whether these pee -pee people, I'm hearing circumstances, um, but whether they be people or circumstances or whatever, something that it, you are trying to release is not necessarily trying to release you. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, now remember, the Ten of Swords came out yesterday. All right, so that's what we were talking about, the Ten of Swords yesterday. In uh, that morning coffee video, what was that title? That was, um, oh shoot. Your heart is leading the way. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse here. Maybe this is connect to that, connected to that, maybe it's not. But what I'm getting now is this message is for someone that's just starting to overcome this obstacle, okay? You have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Which to me is, in this moment, and for this reading, it feels like there is resistance to actually ending the situation here because of the reversal. Reversals can mean many different things to me, uh, but in this situation, all of those different meanings are dependent on the situation at hand. In this situation, it feels like there is resistance in allowing something to end or allowing some, someone to move forward. That's most likely you, the subject here. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse. You have the Six of Cups. 
you have the four of pentacles and then you have the moon okay so the moon here is representative of that fearful energy i was picking up on and the illusion okay there are and and this might sound weird um but i do feel like this is a specific circumstance that is kind of trying to hold someone captive now it seems weird that a concept like a circumstance is trying to hold on to some, someone, but there are energies involved in this circumstance, like people, like the uh, non-physical entities, dark beings, dark entities that are working through other people that are trying to keep this situation, circumstance intact. It's like whomever it is or whatever it is that's trying to keep you in this space recognizes and realizes that you are shifting. You are moving your way out of this. And so this is kind of like grasping at straws here. Wait, wait, no, wait, you can't leave. You're not leaving. I'm not letting you leave. That, like that kind of energy, right? Four of pentacles. In some situations, in some cases, you do have individuals that are harping on or are bringing up the past trying to make things super nostalgic to keep you from moving forward. But all of this is an illusion, the moon, okay? It's all an illusion. And that's where some of the fearful energies are coming up. Again, do not focus on the fears. Observe them, recognize them, work to understand, work towards understanding what they are, right? And, and what they truly mean, but don't focus on them because they're illusion, they're illusionary. You have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, which is your alignment. Underneath that, you have the Empress, which is representing the universe coming through and lovingly helping you, enveloping you in this time period as you move forward. Six of Swords. And then you have the Queen and the King of Cups. Wow, to the Ace of Pentacles. Strength and then the Ace of Cups. Okay, so... Um, See, here's the thing, you guys. What I'm feeling here is now that the reason why you're even able to perceive of your emotions or the emotional content of this situation in this way, because your emotional centers, your emotional feeling bodies are online and they're balanced, the king and the queen of cups. Okay. So for some of you, this may be a situation in which you are learning to place better boundaries. Oh, okay. Well, for many of us in the collective here, this has been, this has been the point. Learning to hold better boundaries and doing what's right. Queen of Cups is holding those boundaries. The King of Cups is having the emotional maturity to recognize that this needs to continue, okay? At no fault of your own is what I just heard. That's interesting. So, oh, I see, I see. King of Cups, at no fault of your own. And the Queen of Cups. So somebody here is really learning some strong-ass boundaries. Strong-ass boundaries. Because I'm feeling in the past, it was difficult for you to hold boundaries because of the guilt trip others would put you through but the king of cups energy which is that emotional maturity is coming through and representing the realization and the reality of the realization the understanding and the reality of the fact that however it whatever it is however it is you need to move to preserve yourself to make sure to maintain boundaries is not I, like how how that affects somebody else is no fault of your own because you're moving in a way in a desired way is what i just heard that helps to maintain your sense of self-preservation that helps to maintain healthy boundaries maintain healthy boundaries for yourself and if that makes some someone else feel some type of way that is not your problem especially if you're maintaining healthy boundaries Especially if you're maintaining healthy boundaries and these other people are getting really pissed off, that's when you know you're doing the right, the right thing. And that's when you really know that these individuals are toxic. And it may be 
for some of you here, you're starting to realize that the more you work on preserving yourself, the more that you work on healthy boundaries, and the more other people get irate and angry about it, those were the same people that were in your face gaslighting you talking about, what are you talking about? I never, I never said that. Where are you getting this from? You know I don't feel that way. You know I don't think that way about you, this, that, and the third. But the more you hold healthy boundaries, the angrier and angrier they get and the more they push back. Now you can see how toxic those individuals are, can't you? And that only makes you want to hold your boundaries even more, doesn't it? There's that obstacle you've overcome. Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Instead of in engaging with or dealing with these situations or these individuals in the same way, now you're changing it up. Now you're switching the game up on them. And you're victorious. You're coming out victorious, even if it doesn't look like it. Because for some of you, what this looks like right now are other individuals really digging in there, right? Because they're also getting pissed off. How dare you stand up to me? How dare you tell me no? How dare you treat me this way? How dare, how dare you make me feel like this? That the, right? How dare you make me feel like this? Fuck off, says the King of Cups. Like, like with all due respect, fuck the hell off. Because the way you feel is not my responsibility. I'm not out here trying to make you feel some type of way. I'm not trying, I'm not out here trying to manip manipulate you or this, that, and the third. So, so don't even come at me with that shit, says the King of Cups. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, cool. So, uh, let's continue. All right, let's continue. Um, I want to get some clarity. Oh, shoot. I don't even... Hold on, guys. I left my other deck in the car. That's fine. I'm going to go with the Golden Art Nouveau for some clarity for us today. Yeah? All right. Five shuffles here. One. All I really want to clarify, though, is this Ten of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Moon. This is two. Uh, for some of you out there, the reason why an individual may be holding on to you, um, it may be for money reasons, monetary gain, I'm hearing. This is three. I don't know why, um, I just, but I'm looking at the four of pentacles and that's something that came through. They're holding on to you for money in some way. This is four. Wait, no, this is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, y'all. Um, so let's talk about this a little bit deeper here. Ten of Swords in reverse, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Moon. Yeah. So far, overall energy at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Wands. Um, and you know what's interesting? This is this is taking me back to the Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I. I think your vision is really, really clear right now. I think you're really able to observe exactly what's going on around you, and but but see it differently now. Again, Seven of Pentacles, having learned a lesson, reached a checkpoint, and understanding what it is you need to do differently at this point to get you closer to the results you desire. Um, but because you see this from a much better vantage point or a much clearer vantage point you are actually it, it it may it may seem the opposite but your pathway is clear and wide open okay regardless as to what anyone around you may be doing or how they may be treating you how they may be trying to trap you how they may be trying to hold you down or hold on to you keep their claws in you regardless as to how they're acting I still feel like you see very clearly in front of you, or at least you see clearly what's happening, and that's got your pathway open. So no matter what these individuals or these energies do, they can't really stop you because of your understanding, okay? It, nobody can stop you if you understand differently. Just like nobody can cast a, a spell on you or cast a hex on you or curse you if you see clearly enough to know 
or to assert the fact that they're, they have no power over you. Like your curse, your hex, your whatnot, whatever, it has no power here. Okay. But that's what, that's the type of vision. That's the type of understanding. That's the type of clarity of mind that keeps your vision clear so that you can continue moving forward. There are no obstacles in your way. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper, please, Spirit. So what else do you want to say? Ten of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Moon. Overall energy is the Two of Wands. Okay. What I'm hearing is some of you have a choice in how you want to deal with this. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Because that's what because <laughs> that's what's came out here. So you have a choice in how you want to deal with this, all right? Um, I do feel like this is for someone that's recently overcoming some sort of interpersonal relationship that was manipulative, all right? And you have a choice in how to deal with this. Now, I already feel like on a deep level, you've chosen what it is that you want and you want to move away from a relationship like this. Great. Perfect. That makes perfect sense. That's an excellent choice. Okay. However, what I'm feeling here is what I was describing in the beginning, how you started out in one area and you started out here and now you're trying to get here and you're, and you're slowly moving away. Like you're literally moving. You're starting to pull away from this old situation, but you're not sufficiently forward enough yet for you to to like really be able to coast, right? You still have to keep some conscious attention or make some conscious effort to keep moving until you cross the threshold where this energy is no longer dominant, right? So what you have here, so, so, so I'm sorry. So what I'm picking up on is this is for someone that's really just starting to make this change, make this transition. However, you're still good. Keep in mind that you still have this victory, six of wands and the seven of pentacles. You understand this from a different level now, and that's what's allowing you to overcome it. That's what's allowing you to really start to shift out of this, right? But it's still the beginning of that, okay? You still have to keep your conscious effort. So what we're cl what the clarifiers are saying here, ten of swords in reverse, six of cups, four of pentacles, and the moon, it's clarified by the two of wands at the bottom of the deck, with the Wheel of Fortune under that and the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor under that, right? So you have a choice here of getting yourself off this karmic hamster wheel, Wheel of Fortune, in terms of what it is you know you're capable of, what it is you know you bring to the table, what it is you're aware, the, 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 the sense of self-worth that has come online for you here that is also helping you shift out of this energy. The Emperor is the boundary. The emperor are the boundaries, excuse me, is our whatever. The emperor is a protective energy, okay? The emperor sets boundaries, but he set, when he's balanced, he sets boundaries for the preservation of the domain, of the kingdom, of the empire. And that's why you need to hold these boundaries here because whatever it is you're holding your boundaries against are energies or individuals that, that do not value you, queen of pentacles. And that's the choice that you're making to get off of the karmic hamster we love. Make sense? Okay, so your clarifiers here are saying maintain this energy of not wanting to be involved. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. And uh, literally what this says, you guys, is I don't feel like it. Therefore, I won't. And this is not that type of energy of just like don't let anybody gaslight, it, gaslight you into making you believe or feel like you're being lazy or you're, or you're not putting in enough effort or you're just, you're just apathetic and you're like, you're like a freeloader or you're like a deadbeat or anything like that because of this Four of Cups energy. That's also where the Queen of Swords comes into play here. Don't, let, don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. And don't let somebody else play you. You know exactly what's happening here. You know exactly what it is you are no longer willing to accept in your life. And that is a-okay. So not only is the Queen of Swords that enforcer that says, no, I'm not happy here. I don't want to be involved with this. We're not, ha we're not having another discussion about it. We're not going any further with it. Okay? Cut the shit. 
But also the Queen of Swords is saying, cut the shit. You're not gonna make me feel bad for this. You're not gonna make me feel like I'm a lazy or a gutless person for this. Fuck you. You can keep it moving. So here it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's close out the reading here. I wanna get that with your Crystal Mandala deck, yeah? Coolio, yo. Alrighty. Four or five shuffles. Five, please. Here we go. This is one. Oh, I did not. Okay. Let's start over. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is is five. Alrighty guys, closing oracle guidance for the collective for this message. Okay, you have two. I'm going to read both of them. First up, you have card number nine. Archon Barbalo and Picture Jasper, support. And then card number 42, Goddess Hecate and Mika, Crossroads of Destiny. Okay, support says, we bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to one that enhance your to ones, excuse me, that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. Finally, we have card number 42, Crossroad of Destiny. We bring you the empowerment of the crossroad of destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you, or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take the best advantage of by listening to your heart, which it sounds like you're doing. So there you go. All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>